So last class, uh, uh, last class we discussed basic what is uh, Linux operating system and what are the flowers, different types of Linux flowers, okay. different types of Linux flowers, and uh, so what is the Linux architecture and uh, some basic uh, points we discussed. Today we'll see continuation. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. So if you see here, uh, so last class uh, already we discussed what is uh, so Linux operating system and what is the ma major, uh, what are the components of Linux. This is nothing but Linux architecture. And uh, so if you send any request and it will go to shell, tell validate your query, tell validate your uh, whatever we are sending command. If that command is uh, correct and it will send it to kernel kernel is executing your command and based on this it will contact the hardware it will get response and all so now see here kernel is the core component of unix operating system it is responsible to execute our execute our commands and uh, so shell is nothing but basically this is how to layer of unix and it is validating the command it is validating verifying the syntax whether the corresponding command is correct or not if it is correct, it will send to kernel. Kernel only execute our commands and it is uh, responsible for interact with the hardware components. So that is basic. And also last class we seen, right? So there is a mostly, these are the some of most common used basic commands. Anyway, we are going to discuss those things and all. Now, so if you go to here, any Linux system, but if you come to Windows, right? Uh, this is a Windows mission. And if you click on, if you go to here, if you go to here, Windows Mission, if you go to Windows Mission, and this is our operating system, right? If you go to my computer, Windows, right? So here we can see a lot of files, right? These are the default files installed by operating system. If you install any operating system, so we can find there is program files, program files, X86, and uh, so these are the some windows uh, these are the main these are the main right these are the folders every folder have multiple files uh, see here if you open uh, so if you open file and under we can open we can see multiple files uh, this is the so default uh, windows operating system this is the windows related files uh, but generally if you come to linux mission if you come to linux mission so if you come to linux mission so there is uh, there is mostly we can see types of files in Linux. There is three types of files. These are the normal files, or ordinary files, or directory files, or device files. These are the device files. So these are the device files. Already last class we seen, right? So if you how to check whether that is file, whether that is directory. In Windows, if you see here, if you click on this, if you click on this, this is the folder. Under this folder, these are the files. Suppose if you go here, this is the directory. This is the directory. Under this directory, these are the files. This is the Windows terminology. This is the Windows terminology. And the same way, if you want to check it, same way, if you want to check it, Linux mission. So there is, a, we can see, D means directories. And so see here, iPhone, that is, a, that is, iPhone means this is a normal file. And L means linked files. And C means characters and all uh, we'll see. Already last class we opened, right? Uh, so for testing purpose, I've opened this is the one prompt. So for uh, if you want to, we can check it. Or multiple ways uh, we can open this for online editor and all. Let me come to here. Go to here. Just to paste it. So now if you go here. Now see here. If you go here. Uh, so it is asking. Uh, it is asking. Mm, username right uh, so type uh, where is that user last class we use right where is this prompt uh, open jx open terminal and login okay so type uh, so user guest user here i am using uh, just can you see screen font size and all Of font size is it visible or not yes sir visible okay now 
so if you see here if you want to see all files and directories right now this is a path right now this is a path current pw means current working directory so if you want to see this is a command this is a basic command pwd present working directory so i am in home directory and guest this is the path present working directory and same windows right windows if you click on any directory and all so now see here if you click on and uh, this is the home right this is the c colon program files hp desktop kubernetes mark and uh, so templates under template test see this is a path but here we are calling like folders this is a folder kubernetes is the one folder inside folder this is another folder subfolder um, under mark so this is the charts is the subfolder and under folder templates is the subfolders under templates this is one more subfolder correct so this is a windows terminology and uh, so now these are the files these are the files these are the files this is windows and same way if you want to find if you want to find linux so if you create any files for example i am going to create one file so if you want to create file i am using touch command so for example i am giving also uh, for example i am giving a uh, dev apps uh, five files i am giving one dot dot five and uh, so the extension i am giving uh, txt files so now see here ls what is this power bracket square bracket or flower bracket now check it I don't know whether it is supporting or not so we can create a so anyway i am going to create a so touch space sample dot txt okay and uh, so to touch is nothing but uh, if you want to create any empty file this is the linux command so if you want to create empty file if you want to create empty file and uh, so we are using uh, so touch command touch space file name touch space file name so for example i am giving maven.txt now if you observe here let me remove rm space uh, so dev apps whatever rm space uh, dev apps rm space dev apps so colon one zero just i'm removing this file just wait dot txt sir five got less five miss okay five okay same way just time removing more bracket r means i remove the file okay anyway we'll discuss now anyway two files i have now let me create one more directory in windows uh, simply if you want to create a directory right click and uh, so so more options and there is a new we are selecting folder right this is a windows pattern this is a windows we are giving a name and all we are giving name and all right same way in linux so we cannot create like that mouse so here each and everything we are using cli cli nothing but command line interface cli is nothing but command line right so here mostly we are using mkdr mkdr if you want to create any directory in linux or ubuntu or centos anywhere if you want to create any directory so what is the command mkdr make directory mkdr is nothing but make directory so we can give any name this is nothing but directory name for example i have given dev apps here dev apps is the directory name dev apps is the directory name now observe here ls hyphen list of files hyphen l l is nothing but long format now if you observe here so this is the directory or file so you observe here and first character just observe only first character now d represents what is d here d these are the permissions under leave it and all just to see first character what karthik here d d means this is the file or directory this is the directory, directory. and these two are the files see here here iphone right that is minus dash 
so this is that means uh, this are only files this all are not directories this all are not directories this all are not directories this is the directory this is only files this is only these two are files these two are the directory now this is the already we seen see here so how to check it so how to check it means there is directories and uh, normal files and device files so those and all we can see linked files right now we don't have any linked files right now we don't have any linked files if we create any linked file we'll see coming classes we'll see this and all coming classes we'll see this and all so these are the based on first character we can we can identify whether this is file or whether it's directory that's it so now if we see here now every directory implicitly contains uh, two sub directories this is represents a current directory and this is represents a parent directory now these are the by default these are two are the hidden directories how to see that and all now observe here if you want to see every directory has two directories that is parent directory and sub directory that is parent directory see here represents a current directory and represents a parent directory now if we see here dot represents uh, this is the current directory and uh, if you use dot dot means uh, change to parent directory and if you give only cd if you are not passing any argument then we change it to home directory then we go to home directory now see how it will work now i am in uh, this is uh, this is a which directory now i am go to see here cd space dot dot if you come to parent directory so first let me check it uh, pwd right now where are you slash home and guest now i want to go to this directory if you want to go to this directory there is a command cd space cd space cd nothing but change directory cd space directory name which directory you want to go which directory the apps now check it pwd present working directory i am in here suppose if you give cd dot dot cd cd space cd space dot only single space, space single dot now check it here now i am in where directory only same directory it won't change anything suppose if you want to come outside directory this is the command cd space dot dot two dots that only here we reference see here cd change to parent directory cd space double dot means change to parent directory now i given cd space double dot now we will come to parent directory parent means uh, slash home guest slash home guest slash home guest now see here pwd present working directory pwd now see here home slash slash home slash guest now let me go to again dev apps directory cd space dev apps cd space uh, so dev apps okay now i am giving a cd only i am giving cd only i am giving cd if you give only cd what is happening see if you if you if you are not passing any any passing any arguments then changes to user home directory now i am not passing anything now see here i am not passing anything now by default it is coming to which directory home directory by default it is coming to which directory home directory i hope you got it right so cd represents change directory if you want to go to directory cd space directory name if you want to come outside directory cd space dot dot suppose if you are not mentioning anything only you given cd so by default it will move to home directory that is next still symbol see here means uh, user home directory this is also it will change to user home directory and cd means uh, previous uh, working directory this is nothing but a uh, previous working directory previous working directory now see now i am going to create one more directory clear the screen and ls and uh, cd space dev apps cd space uh, so dev apps dev apps now pwd i am in which directory dev apps directory let me create one more sub directory mk dir mk dir and uh, so now i am giving a dev apps one this is sub directory now ls
again I am giving CD space dev apps apps 1 now PWD now give this path now see here I am in slash home guest dev apps this is the subdirectory dev apps 1 now if you give CD if I give CD means it will move to which directory now I am giving only CD if I press enter what is happening anyone I am not passing anything only CD CD means what is happening now observe here CD means so if you are not passing any argument then changes to user home directory I hope you got it right anyone any doubt here here I am not passing anything just I given only CD clear so if I press CD enter now it will go to home directory now observe here PWD yes or no see home directory now same way again I am go to CD space dev apps dev apps and again I am going to CD space dev apps 1 dev apps 1 now PWD let's clear the screen and PWD now I am using a CD tilde symbol now observe here what is the TD space tilde symbol it means a uh, user home directory it will change changes to user home directory only both are same I am using a tilde symbol shift in our keyboard left side top there is one symbol is that tilde symbol okay now see here space you need to give cd space till symbol cd space till symbol now check the directory pwd now also it will come to home directory now we can use a cd or we can use cd space till symbol both are same only it will come to your home directory it will come to your home directory so anyone any doubt guys here i hope clear right yes sir clear Clear with I? Okay. Now go to here. Now same thing. Now this is the CD space. This is the C iPhone they are given means the previous directory. So now I am coming to here. Now I am coming to here. PWD. I am in which directory? Home directory. CD space dev apps. Enter CD space uh, so dev apps. I have two directories, right? PWD. Now I am using a CD space only space iPhone. Uh, what is this meaning? What they are telling like? So it will go to previous working directory. It will go to previous. Uh, what is this? iPhone or symbol? So if you give dot dot means uh, this is the previous directory. Let me check. Symbol is correct or not? So mostly we are using dot 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 represents how to move previous directory in Linux. So CD data mostly we are using and the CD space iPhone use change the previous directory use this is it will work CD data it means it will move to previous directory we know this is a path and all or else I will go to different CD space hyphen this is we need to give command also again we need to pass command go back to previous directory not that one go to previous working directory in the terminal what is they given CD space so use this one I'm giving I think we need to pass again command also 
okay remove this one remove this one okay so paste it it won't work okay let me cd and uh, we need to give command slash home guest g u g u e s t maybe it won't so, but this is the online editor right maybe it won't work here in regular operating system we can check it in regular operating system it will check it so but if you want to move any previous directory so generally we are using this command cd space dot dot this is very simple command it will go to previous directory it will go to previous directory simply cd space dot dot cd space dot dot that's it now see here pwd again i want to come back means uh, cd space dot dot previous directory now see here pwd it's simple okay so this under anyone any doubt guys here clear right hello yes sir okay. clear okay now this is very very important so linux file system hierarchy now if you come to windows file system hierarchy see if you go to c drive if you go to c drive so this is the windows file system hierarchy if you install any operating system windows related so this is the this is the windows file system hierarchy we can see program files we can see program files x86 and we can see uh, you know right users and we can see windows uh, if we click on windows uh, there is a lot of uh, directory structures we can see so this is the windows file system hierarchy and same way if you go to linux also there is some file system hierarchy mostly we are work with that file system only suppose if you install any software uh, where it will go to install guys already you know right already you install jenkins already you install maven you know right already install java so if you install any software if you install any package by default those and all uh, install under particular one directory what is that directory windows already install right which directory it will go to suppose if you install java suppose you install maven or jenkins by default those and all it will go to one particular uh, directory uh, which directory Windows it will go or users or program files or program files. Sir. Last week I got this, sir. Which directory? Program. Uh, so program files. If you click on program files, sir. now see here. If you install Jenkins, sir. now see here. Jenkins is available here. Now got it. For example, if you install Java, see Java is available here. So Java is coming to program files. Sir. I hope you got it right. So if you install any software in Windows mission, so those and all by default it is coming to under this uh, path, under this path. <laughs> Same way, if you come to Linux also, the Linux people also they are following one directory structure, file structure. See here, file system system hierarchy. So this are the so this are the so root. See here, Linux file system tree structure like so. The root directory contains the following important directories. We cannot see like this. We cannot see like Windows. We cannot see. It logs only one ekda. Ekda. So Linux mission lo we cannot see like Windows. Windows log man display ga ekda. See here. This is the GUI right. We can see like this. But Linux means this is the CLI command line. So now it will see. See here. Bin. Yes. Bin. Lib. Etc. Dev. Opt. Home. USR, TMP, media, etc. So these are the default directory structures. These are the default directory structures. Let me check it whether available or not. Now if you go here, so if you go here, LS. Now see here, this is the now I am in PWD. PWD means I am in root path. Slash is represents root path. Slash represents see here. This is the root. This is the it will starts with root only under the root only we can see this many directory structures this many directory structures now see here bin dev etc home root sbin temp 
views or variables so not only this this is the only online editor right this is the online writer we can see only limited directory structures but if we see in real linux machines we can see two more directories also we can see two more two more directories also clear clear what i got Yes, sir. So these are the what which path we need to go. So this is the root directory only you need to go. If you want to see this directory structures and all, so we have to go to only root under root ls. Just type ls. So these are the default. No need to remember by default it is coming like this only. Okay. So by default it is coming like this only. So all are under the root directory. All are under the root directory only. All are under the root directory only. So bin dev etc configuration files home directory root directory has been system binary files temporary directory users directory variables directory so like this we can see many directories now we'll see one by one what is bin bin means this is binary files and all under see this directory contains all binary executable related to your linux commands now windows if you install any software already we've seen right all are coming to under c colon program files and if you install any exe files all are coming to this path same way in linux if you install any binary files if you install see here this directory contains all binary executable related to our linux mission linux related binary files and all we can see under the bin directory yes bin means this is the system bin this is the system bin so this is a system bin it contains all binary executable related to high and admin related super user so here admin user means super user so that related information and all we can find under the sbin directory so see here what is difference between between bin and sbin bin contains binary executables related to commands used by normal user Yes, bin contains binary executables related to commands used by super user. So super user related files under yes, bin. Normal users related files and all under bin directory we can see. Clear? So bin directory contains executable related to normal user. Yes, bin system. This is yes, bin contains binary executable related to super user. Yes, bin is nothing but super user. Now same way etc. This is very very important etc directory. So this directory contains all system configuration files. Now if you observe here, there is one directory is there, right? Etc. So under the etc, which files we can see? See in this directory, we can see all system configuration files. These configurations can be used to customize the behavior of Linux operating system. All user information available under etc password. All groups information under the etc groups and host information under the etc host file. See here system related configuration. All system configuration files and all we can find under the etc directory. I hope you got idea right. So now see here if you go here cd space slash etc slash pass wd wd now see here pass double lead go to cd etc and uh, so ls sorry etc and ls and uh, so pass wd right ll and uh, pass wd file or not this is a file only right so cat space cat space pass wd so now see here so this is all all system which information we can see under the you all users information this is the path if you want to see all group information this is the path if you want to see host information this is the path etc slash host this is slash host see here ls there is a host file right now we can't see that host file we can't see that host file we can see only uh, groups we can see only we can see pass wd and motd you can see news and profile only we can see now this is the path profile clear the screen 
and also cat space ls first type ls cat space cat means if you want to see the content if you want to see the content this is the cat command profile profile command now see here this is a profile command so you don't worry no need to change anything here no need to do anything here just i am showing for your understanding purpose apart from this don't do anything here don't modify don't do anything here i hope you got it right see here what is the etc directory this directory contains all system configuration files all system configuration files clear vadai what are they clear yes sir anyone any doubt yes, here okay this is very simple only anyway so daily we are seeing this directory now we are in initial phase right so might be there is a confusion and slow daily we are seeing same directory path and we are going to do something and we can easily understand coming classes now this is a temp here also we can understand temp means temporary directory temp means uh, this is the temporary directory now we can see temporary directory also so if you observe here ls see here go back ls clear the screen and ls see here there is one directory temp temp directory tm is nothing but temp directory now what this see this directory contains temporary files see it contains all temporary files created in the current session we are executing many commands right we are executing many commands but windows environment how to check it temp directory anyone anyone any idea windows in this is a windows machine here also we can see one temp directory so how to check this temp directory here if you go to window r and if you type temp 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 directory so if you type temp directory and if you type temp directory if you type temp directory see here this is a temporary directory temp so that current session information and all it is storing here so they, right now i executing many commands right so that information and all it is storing here this is a windows pattern windows c colon windows temp there is a one directory path is there this is the temp so all temporary files that session related information files and all it is storing here but same way if you go to linux machine this is the path what is this path tm tmp temp it will so it will store it contains all temporary files created current session okay if any file is required only for the current session then that is will create inside the temp directory these files will be deleted automatically at the time of system shutdown now what these files will these are the permanent files these are the permanent files no right in windows also no so these all are now this is not permanent files if you go to here c colon if you go to here c colon windows there is one temp 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 see here if you want to we can delete all these things if you want to we can delete all these things you don't no problem this is only temporary files this is session related information if you want to once if you shut down mission automatically almost as almost all files will gone that's it now if any files which is required permanently then uh, it should not recommended to create inside the temp directory so this is the temporary directory same way dev so means uh, device files all device files stored under this directory now if you observe here dev see here there is one more directory dev dev means this is the device file information all device related files under reside under this directory see here everything is treated as a file including device also every device is represents a file by using these files we can communicate with the devices all devices related files will be stored inside the dev directory inside the dev directory i hope you got it right so device related information and all store under the dev directory temporary files are stored under the tmp directory so configuration files stored uh, all configuration files under the etc directory now this is the super user this is the bin directory this is the system bin directory so anyone any doubt here as of now i hope you got right clear yes or no
Yes, sir. Okay. Now there is one more directory. Uh, see temp and all. This is MNT mount directory. Now we can't see this is uh, maybe here we can't see now MNT right the directory is not available if you see uh, actual original Linux mission we can see that is one more directory also this is the uh, online right uh, this is for temporary access sir. for practice purpose only there is one more directory I will show you MNT and media directory all files and all media related files and all storing here and uh, so <coughs> there is a OPT directory also is that this one OPT this is also not available and uh, so there is lib directory lib so lib is available no and uh, so variable available see variables available so where vr means uh, variable data all variable related information and all see vr so all variable related informations all variable related informations stored under the variable directory if any data which is keep on changing such type of uh, data will be stored in the vr this is a home directory this is most we are using home home means uh, as a linux is multi-user operating system you know right uh, multiple people's working parallelly so there is a home directory home means uh, this is a root direct home so our home right see what information for every user is a separate directory will be created to hold his specific data like videos images documents and all so that information and all it is maintaining under the home directory now if you go and check we can see one more name see pwd cd space home cd space home ls see here guest who is the guest here this is a username who is the guest here this is a username i logged in one user right that username is guest i logged in one user that username is guest now see here cd space g u e s t guest ls now see here under the guest we can see directories and we can see files and all we can see directories and we can see files and all suppose if i log in another user if i log in another user see here exit i am coming outside exit now log in uh, for example i am logging dev apps another user now see here pwd now i am in which user dev apps user now go to root directory cd cd dot dot and uh, cd dot dot ls now see here cd space home directory cd space home directory cd space home directory ls now we can see two users two times i log in right so first time i logged into guest user second time i logged into dev apps user so this information and all we are maintaining under the which directory home directory user related information see here user is a separate directory will be created to hold this separate uh, specific data now i logged into two users first i log into guest user guest is the one user so for guest purpose uh, if you see cd space g u e s t guest ls now see here under the guest i created one directory and also i created two files now if you see here dev apps we can't see anything as of now i didn't create anything now observe here cd dot dot ls cd space dev apps cd space dev apps now ls so do we can you see anything here no because i logged into guest dev apps user in dev apps user as of now i didn't create any files i didn't create any folders directories the dev apps user login i know but in this user I don't have any operations if you want to create see here for example mkdr i am using a uh, so for example jenkins now see here lx touch space touch space okay sample.txt now see here ls so these two files which user devops related user and uh, so these files related to which user already we seen right guest user there is few more files we see now come outside cd dot dot cd dot dot ls and uh, i'm using uh, what is this uh, cd slash cd space home directory and ls now see here 
so these are the users so this is the devops one time i log into devops user and uh, first time i log into guest user in guest user i created few files in devops user also i created few files that information and all we are maintaining under the home directory a linux as a linux is multi user operating system for every user separate directory will be created to hold this specific data like videos images documents and all all these users directories will be stored inside home directory demo so demo one this all are the so whatever you want we can create it under this directory clear guys anyone any doubt here what was i clear yes sir okay so home means uh, all home means all see here this is a we are following multi operating system right multi user operating system we can create multiple users sir. and uh, so we can log in multiple users and we can do some operations sir. so each user i am going to do some operation right so that information and all we are maintaining under the home directory we are maintaining under the home directory so this and all i will show you later that and all i will show you later that is process id and this is the root directory root is nothing but this is the home directory of the super user this is the home of super user this is the home of super user so this is the root this is the super user home directory so right now if you see observe here ls uh, cd dot dot ls now see here so this is the root there is one more directory is there root there is one more directory is there root so root user information it is maintaining under the root folder under the root directory cd space root see here permission denied i am in this is a super user right this is a regular user this is a regular user this is a super user directly we cannot log in this we need to give some permission see so this is a super user home directory slash root slash root this is the slash root so i hope now we got some idea right what is the directory structure in linux mission and daily we are working these directories only daily i am going to prove i am going to create some files i am going to create some directories so under this directories only under this directories only under this directories only so anyone any doubt as of now clear guys and uh, here uh, there is a some difference root directory and user directory and these are the file system format i will explain later right now i don't have anything right so these are the so these are the default directory structures in linux mission and uh, so we can check all these things anyone any doubt here as of now i hope clear right Yes, sir. Okay. So next class I will show you uh, so how to create one Linux mission own AWS and all, and uh, so how to play with that Linux mission. I will. This is only online related uh, Linux. All commands it won't work here. So basic commands and all it will work here. Some of few commands it won't work here. So but in actual Linux mission all commands will be executed. But here a uh, few commands it won't execute here. We cannot work here. Okay. anyone any doubt so next class i will show you how to create one linux mission and how to work with uh, this and all different they are using install manually only but i am going to create one account in aws account and i am creating one uh, linux mission for our practice purpose and daily i am going to use that mission only clear yes sir okay so that's it